Alright guys, today we're going to talk about battery cases for the Droid Razor. Lots of people still have the Droid Razor. It's getting on almost two years old now, but it's still a great phone. But the battery length, it seems, goes down and down over time. It doesn't seem to be lasting me nearly a day. So I found there's only really two choices that I could find in battery backups. And one of them was the QQ Tech 2400 milliamp battery. And this is a pretty thin case. And your Droid just fits right into it here. Doesn't really protect the sides of the razor. Got a screen protector you're fine and you protect the back. And it's got this bump in the top because that's where the plug goes in. It actually fits nice and I kind of like the idea of this case. 2400 milliamp is good. The phone has about 1700 so it's more than the phone has. Problem is, <coughs> it doesn't work. To turn it on, one press will show you the battery indicator. I'm fully charged. To turn it on, you press and hold for three blinks or three seconds. And now, if you'll see, you should see, I don't know why my screen should have come on when it did that, hold on. I wanted to show you that it starts charging usually. It's not even starting to charge at all now. Before it used to start for a second and then stop. Sometimes it wouldn't start at all. Basically this case doesn't work. I've read the instructions, gone online, tried everything I could find and basically it just doesn't work. It will not charge the phone. I've, I've been using this for a week. It's not like I just took it out of the box. I've been using it and messing with it for a week. Cannot get it to charge the phone. But some reviews on Amazon said they could get it to work. So check out the QQ Tech uh, battery back if you, if you want to look into it, but I would not recommend it. It does not work for me. The next we have, and this one just arrived today, so I'm going to go ahead and use this for a while before I finish this video, is this SEI DIO CDO maybe. And this one's cool because this one actually covers the whole phone as you can see. So it makes the phone a little thicker but it protects the phone as it does it. This one also has, if I can get it out of here, I don't want to break this like anyway right now. I'm trying just to show you guys what's in here. It has a battery as you can see and um, the battery is replaceable. So you can actually have extra, there we go. You can actually have extra batteries. So this case, you put one battery, and the battery is a, uh, how many milliamp? 1750, so it's about the same as the phone. So you're getting twice the battery length. And you can carry an extra battery with you, really simply, if you want. And you can swap these in and out. Now, I probably won't do that. I'll probably just leave one in there. Twice the battery length of my phone is good. But um, you can always swap them and have an extra one. Maybe just leave an extra battery in your car or something, or somewhere. So this one, I'm going to go ahead and plug everything in and then I'm going to go ahead and charge up my phone and it to 100%. And then I'm going to let my phone drain down and see how it works. So it looks like we put the battery in like that. I'm going to read the instructions, but I figure I can plug in everything here. Put the phone in like that. And then put the cover on. It makes the phone a little taller, as you can see, because it has to plug into the top. But as you can see, it makes its own whole new shell of a phone. Everything that's needed to be open is open. You saw power here. Plug. Power's on the side, actually, where it used to be in the top. So that might, I'm hoping that'll charge the phone and the case at the same time. I'll see. Your volume and everything is there. Here's your power button. So this one protects your phone a lot better than this QQ Tech. So if this one works, this is probably the way to go. It does increase your phone size a little bit, but it's a nice smooth case. So let me go ahead and test this one out for a while and see, uh, read the instructions, see how it works, and then uh, make sure it works. And I'll report back soon here. Alright guys, so it's been a little while and I've been able to test, and uh, this case does exactly everything right. It has the same type of on-off button as uh, the, case, oops, the case that doesn't work here. You hold this button on top down for three seconds and then it's supposed to uh, turn on the charger. So here we go. And this is also an indicator of how full the charger is. As you can see here, I'm getting 20% charge. My phone is 20% charged, but it's charging. So this case actually turns on how it's supposed to turn on and works. Hold the button down for three more seconds and you can stop charging. That's how this other case is supposed to work, but it doesn't work for me. The CDO does, and I like it. It's smooth. It'll go in and out of my pocket easier. Uh, this other case kind of created rough edges because it didn't cover the phone. So this, even though it's bigger, like I said, it's nice. Go ahead and turn it on one more time here. Just make sure it's all working. 
but this is perfect now I can use my phone let's say until it's down to 30 percent or 20 percent then it's when, when it's down to about 20 percent I could turn on my charging battery case and it'll I could just leave it on until the battery case is fully depleted and by that time my phone will be basically fully charged uh, while I'm using it or while it's just in my pocket so that'll extend the daily use without having to plug it into a regular stock uh, socket or micro USB plug now this micro USB <coughs> charger on the side here it's moved here from the top of the case because like we say the top of the case is plugged into the phone that's why we got this lip like I said but you can charge the case and the phone simply by plugging into this one charger so if you use your battery of your case and your phone depleted let's say you use it for a day or two and both of them are low plug it in overnight with this and by morning your case and your phone will be fully charged and ready with both batteries so I'm really happy about this case I'll give you guys updates if it ever stops working I'll put annotations or I'll you know edit this video but for now the CDO here is the case to go with like I said there's really only two choices in Droid Razor cases and I've seen mixed reviews on this QQ Tech and I've seen pretty good reviews on the CDO uh, the QQ Tech is cheaper it's like 30 bucks 26 bucks I believe CDO is like 70 bucks where I bought it from at the CDO website you might be able to find it cheaper so that's the difference in price too that's why lots of people go for this cheap Chinese thing where the CDO might be Chinese too but it's working for me so there's my little review here's the two case options I'd say spend the extra money and get the CDO for many reasons not only because it charges but because of the look of it and the covering of it and the exchangeable battery that's pretty cool so there you guys have it if you have any questions let me know and we'll see you guys later